First thing you want to do, make sure you're running the current software. The current version as of this recording is version 1.0.4.72. Uh, if you need the latest version, please go to our website at penton-usa.com. I already have this software launched and I'm connected up to a machine. So let's go in here and I got a simple little two room combining system that we just want to do a couple of presets with one with the two rooms separated with the divider wall and used independently and another sub preset where we're going to actually have the two rooms combined the walls open up so any of the wall plates can be used in any of the rooms we want to set up a master preset for just background music where none of the wall plates are active whatsoever so how do we do this well first of all how does Penton Audio and Artis do presets well, we have two levels of presets. Uh, one is a master preset, and the other one is the sub presets, which are basically nested presets of the masters. Now, with the masters, they're used for any changes to the design uh, whatsoever, which means is if we add or delete any of the component modules that you see here, uh, if we change any of the wire or signal routing, those are considered as design changes and have to be saved under master presets. Uh, sub presets or any changes to any of the modules, variable or dynamic controls. Like if I open up one of these, any of the buttons or faders or level controllers or selectors or routers that I can change on the fly, just like I'm doing here, mute buttons, you know, level controls, faders, any of that stuff. If I can control it, turn it on or off or select it, it's considered a variable or dynamic control and they can be adjusted and then saved under the sub presets. Once again, we have master presets and then we have nested sub presets under the masters. And for the UAP, there are a total of 32 master presets that you can have on any one single box. And to put that in perspective, that means you can have up to 32 totally different designs in one single UAP system. And with that, we can have 16 sub presets under each single master preset design. So if you need more sub presets for anything, you just add a master design and it, it might not have anything changed. You just add more sub presets. How do we create sub presets and then save changes to the sub presets? First of all, let me get you familiar with the sub preset menu bar. Just right up here. First of all, here's the drop down menu and there are no sub presets created. The button next to that is the sub preset name button. Next to that is the add button. Then we have the sub preset delete button. Next to that we have the sub preset save. So after you made your changes, this is how you save it to that sub preset. And then we have the sub preset load, which is how you actually manually switch or load a preset if you're live connected with your PC or wireless tablet, whatever, and controlling the system that way. Otherwise, use any kind of third party controls, URCs, uh, URC 200s, or any of the, the intelligent controls out there will do the same thing. So, what we need to do here in my little combining system, I just want to set up a couple of quick presets. Uh, one is a preset with the two rooms separated with the wall and the two wall plates in one room only go to its room and the two wall plates in the second room only go to its speakers or its room. These other two global inputs are like background music and page from say the hotel or the facility. I want them going to both rooms all the time. How do we do this? Well the first thing we do is we have to create our sub presets. So I will go up here to the sub preset add button and I only need two presets for this design. One is for separate and the other one is combined. So let's click it twice. There's once, twice. Now if I look at my drop down menu, you see there are two untitled presets right there that I just added. Let's go name them. So I just click on the sub preset name, go and highlight the one I want to rename, and we'll make this one separate, and we'll make the second one combined. Alright, and we click OK, and as we notice up here in the drop window, there are my two sub presets. Let's go ahead and name this master one, and we'll name this uh, the room combined system. How about that? There we go. So just so I know which ones are working. Now, you can know which preset you're working on the two just by checking your window up here as you go along. Now, the other thing about Penton Audio and the way they handle presets is that you map either individual dynamic functions or the entire module with all of its functions, or you can highlight all the modules in the design and map them to one or more of the sub presets. What this does is it just allows when you load or you make preset changes, it only looks to the modules and the controls that you've mapped to it, not the entire design which means is the switches or the loads between the presets are virtually instantaneous without delay like some DSP engines that will actually reload the entire design with the preset changes in there. So it takes up a lot less memory and it's a lot quicker and it's a whole lot easier to make changes on the fly. What we want to do is uh, let's work in our separate 
preset what first. What I want to do is put my design. The only thing I'm really going to make changes now, to between all the presets are going to be with the inputs and outputs. Right now. Yeah. I'll put level controls, input level controls, and routing buttons that I can make any kind of status change or variable change to it. So let's just say, I'll just for instance, I want to take this level control and I want to map it to a sub preset. I just right click on it. And I go to sub preset, and there's all my sub presets if I wanted, and I can just actually assign them. So if I go back, I just clicked on that. You can see I assign it to the separate. I can assign it to combine. I could sit here, right click on it if I wanted to, and take it off of a sub preset. One thing I want you to notice is after you assign any function to a preset, this little blue dot will appear in the upper left hand corner. That will be for every variable function that you can dynamically change. If you assign it to any preset whatsoever, that's your indication that it's successfully mapped. If I go in here and I take it and I take it off the combine, now you notice the little blue dots disappear. There's a bunch of controls just in this one single module. There's a quicker way to do this. I just highlight the module, right click, and I go down to preset and I say I'm going to add it to all. So now, if I open it up, every single variable function within that module, you can see it has the blue dot. And that means that I can map any of these functions to any, you know, or save them at this point to the preset because they've been mapped. So that's just a quick way. I could actually highlight every single one of them I wanted to, like I said, right click and assign them all to either one or all the presets if I so desire. Now, let's go ahead and make some changes and save them to our preset. So I open up my module. I'm in separate. So what I want to do is I want room one stuff, which is on input one, to go to output one for room one's output. So first thing I want to do is make sure that input one is routed to output one. Same with two. I got input two coming in. I want that going to output two. There we go. Input three is the combined selector. I don't want that going to any of my outputs when I'm in separate mode, so I'll just mute that. The background music and page global sources coming in, I want them going to both rooms at all times. So there you go. Room one goes to one, two to one. Uh, four goes to both, and the combined selector is muted. That's fine. How we save this is we go up here to the preset save, click it, it's saved. It's as simple as that. Now, let's go make changes for our combined preset. Make sure I'm in the combined window. I say I don't want to mute three, but I do want to mute one, and I do want to mute two, and I don't even need them routed. I'll just take the routing off for fun. And anything coming on input three, which is all four of the plates over here, I want to go into both rooms one and two. So now any of the four wall plates will be active for both rooms in a combined mode. That's all my settings. That's all I need to do. I go up here to preset save and it's saved. I just clicked it. So now let's double check. If I go back here to separate and remember the preset load, I click it and see there's my separate. If I go up here to combine and I go back up here to my preset load and click it, there you go. You see all the changes. If you want to see that it really doesn't change anything else because it's not mapped, so watch this. I will sit there. I'll max all these out, which hopefully you would never do. So I'll max all these out or whatever, and we will go to the separate mode, and let's load it. There you go. You notice the changes here. These did not change whatsoever. If I go back to combine, and I load that one in there, you see all the changes here, but see these did not change whatsoever. They were not mapped to a sub preset and it just totally ignores them, which means that they stay in whatever state they were in last until somebody changes it. There you go. You have just saved and created your sub presets within your master. Now, quick word on masters. Uh, we are in the room combined master. If I just want to go and let's add, there's our, there's our master preset add button and we click it. Now, if we go into the system, look, notice all my whole design has been reset to nothing. I could go right back here to my room combine, open it up, and there's everything with my sub presets and everything. I can go to this untitled, uh, I can name it background music or BGM, and we do that. And I go in here and I can bring in a mixer just for fun. And I just say, here's my background music because the inputs and outputs are still the same. They don't get changed because they're physically connected. Basically, they're going out here to both rooms all the time. And I just go up here and I will comp compile it and we're good. Now it's the same. You see, notice that there's no presets or anything saved with this. But if I go up here and I go back to room combine, open it up, there you go. So that's how I can sit there between the master presets and the sub presets. That's how you save and configure different functions for the master or the sub presets and save them. So good luck. If you've got any questions, please make sure you go to our website at our website at Penton Audio. Thank you and have a great day. Website at